Alright guys, and welcome back to Spin Tires. You know, I haven't made a Spin Tires video in a while. I haven't made any videos in a while. Um, but yeah, today I thought we'd go and look at the uh, couple of mods here downloaded last night. One is the Land Rover 3. This is the Camel Trophy Truck. Comes in the regular Trophy Truck and then a bunch of standard models. But why not all out? And then there's the Black Call Toyota Hilux Truggy, which I find very interesting, because why? Outback wheels, because Outback wheels. Winch, fuel cans. That's everything I can put on it, except the trailer. Cool. Alright. Now this is full-time all-wheel drive. With a very, very slow high. This is just, uh... Take a look at it. It's really, really slow. This camel trophy truck. I drove the trophy truck a little bit. After I downloaded it. It's a little faster than this, but not too much. I'm assuming this is going to be slightly better off-road than that was, though. That one got stuck a fair bit. Though well, this one seems to be having a little bit of trouble already, just keeping speed up in these dirt tracks. Uh, yeah, but I like it. It's different. Yes, a garage spot with nothing there. We are bypassing all of this because I'm weird, and I don't believe this. Uh, I'm very good at rock calling. I'm actually pretty, pretty dang bad at it. Nor does this have enough lift to deal with it at all. If I had something like a uh, an XJ or a YJ or even an MJ, because MJs are cool, I think I'd have a better time at it. I want to test its mud performance. It seems to handle muddy water a little bit. You know? What do we got in here? I am just doing this on the fly because I feel like it. And I started it. It won't start out in the high. What's wrong with this vehicle? That's strange. Yeah, this is uh, just seeming like a good trail truck. Some basic off-road ability, you know. I wouldn't take it to any hill climb events. It was me. Because this would happen. And you embarrass everyone because you said your truck sucked. Alright, so you cannot go from first, or low first, to uh, high, that's good. But yeah, I'm having a ton of fun. Uh, I've recently moved into a new apartment. I've got three roommates, my fiance, her brother, and his girlfriend, all the way here. Both me. Um, so yeah, I should be able to record more stuff now. Uh, because the upload speed I've got at this residence is about, uh, a fa it's a lot faster, put it that way. I was have had 1.5 megabits per second of download speed, and this is not going to go up that high. Yeah, 
not going to go up in the low either. So yeah, that's the thing. But yeah, this is a fairly capable vehicle. I think it's cool. Uh, I'm thinking about taking this to Whiskey Ranch, seeing if I can find somebody to play this with me. Oh, that clippage. Oh, oh geez. Did not quite make the turn. Yeah, so if any of you have spin tires, go ahead and figure out how to download and install maps. It's really easy. Uh, there's plenty of tutorials out there. But basically, you download the map files and put it in your game folder under your levels. You have Steam, Programs 86X, Steam, Steam Maps, Common, and then go to Spin Tires and that's it. your game folder. That That's basically all it is. Let's see how this does. Water performance is not bad. I still wouldn't take it to a mud bog if it was the last vehicle on Earth. Because I would take the other vehicle I brought, which probably is a lot more capable than this. I'm going to park this here, and we're going to get Black Calls Toyota Hilux Truggy. Which is not full time all wheel drive. But it's a very slow high. Let's get this thing rolling. I don't know how fast it is. I actually haven't driven this at all, so this is my first time looking at it, and I'm liking that it's got full coilovers, even though they seem to be a bit off balance at some points. There's some play in the suspension. This seems to be much faster and I know it's going to have much more flex. Much more potential for this. I put the parking brake on you jackass. Don't fall down the hill. Go ahead and Stick it in low two here. Yeah, I see that. M much more grip than the trophy truck could possibly ever have had. But I'd like to do the, this as a side by side comparison. And it's hard to do that. When you're just on your own. I also. When I'm, after I moved into my new place, went and got myself a uh, new computer. Got it the same way I got my last one. Yeah, look, look, you see, you see that? Let's back back up onto that. If I can. Yeah, look at the compression on this spring. It's not quite straight. It looks like there's just too much play in the shock there which is odd I've never seen a vehicle in this game do that I will more than likely end up telling the mod author about this and it might be patched I don't know yeah this is a much more capable vehicle it might become my new Explorer truck because it's not quick, but it's very versatile. Very versatile. Ah. See, this is that thing I told you guys about, where I'm just not good at this. I have front end stuck on that. 
I have, I'm really hoping this will pull itself out of here. Come on. Find grip. Try to go around that a little bit. Because this is a Toyota. And it can go around things. J just for shits and giggles, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get my front wheels up on this. Alright, well, I think this is just a much better vehicle than that one, but they both have their uses. This is a full off-road ridiculous vehicle. That one's more of a trail vehicle, like an exploration vehicle, and this is just, oh, I'm stuck in the middle of this forest, or hey, I'm out to have a shit ton of fun. And I've just realized, I think this has a toolbox right there. Good modeling. Um, oh, wow. Apparently I hurt the truck. But anyway, I think I'm going to leave this episode off with a wreck. Because, well, that's what all my episodes are. They are a train wreck. I'm going to try to get this thing stuck. See if I can do it. All right, I'm going to leave this episode off here. Um, more news to come. But until then, I'll see you.